Hi, this is Roger DeRue, and my website is freecomputerconsultant.com. What I want to show in this video is probably the safest way I can think of to open an email that, that might be kind of suspicious. Now, ordinarily, you do not want to open emails that are suspicious, but in a business environment, there are times when people feel that they, they, they see something that makes it, uh, I guess, uh, enough of an evidence that they, it might be a legitimate email, and they, they don't want to miss out on, on, on a business uh, communication of some type or uh, you know, be responsible for missing an email. So they want to take a look at it, but they want to do so in the safest method possible. So what we've done here is taken a machine that had Outlook installed on it, and this one does not. But on that machine, we right-clicked on a message and drug it to the desktop and released the mouse button and selected Copy. And what we get is this little test message. And if Outlook was on this machine, it would show up as a little envelope in the icon. But we have this message here. In a previous screencast, I showed how you can add, to, add the uh, a shortcut to Notepad to the Send to context menu here. Here's what, one of the reasons that we do it, to just make it convenient to take a look at a file. We're going to pop this open in Notepad, and you can see this email is a lot of gibberish, but we can kind of find out if it really is safe or, or not safe by looking at what we see here. And if there's HTML code in here or a little you know, dot that is sometimes put in these uh, emails to communicate, kind of phone home, it won't actually uh, activate this way. Now, if you really want to be safe and secure, you can disconnect your internet connection when you do this or your ethernet connection. But, uh, but this is probably the safest way I can think of to take a look at a message. And as you scroll down, you can kind of see, okay, here's the address, and I've tried to uh, remove all the names to protect the innocent here, but uh, here is an address that uh, when we read it, was pretty obvious it was spam, but, but not for certain, because sometimes spammers will use a legitimate address and then send it as that person. But as we continue to scroll down, we'll see more information, and you have to kind of pick it up here, but uh, you can't even necessarily do a search unless you, you insert the spaces. But here you can see where the word subject, this is the subject of the email. It says, find the best replica Rolex jewelry. Bam, that's it, this was spam. And at that point, we know we can safely delete it. But in the meantime, when we open this email, you know, there was no HTML code that was activated and, and phoned home to let the spammer know that this is a valid address and it didn't uh, go out to any uh, malicious websites and bring any code down to our machine. And that's what we wanted to avoid. So here you have it. It's, uh, as I say, the safest way I can think of to open an email that you really feel that you need to open. But uh, again, I reiterate, do not open suspicious emails as a matter of, you know, your general policies, I guess. You want to be as safe as possible. Some of these things can really uh, strike hard on your PC and, and do some damage. But that's it for this screencast. Uh, please visit my website, www.freecomputerconsultant.com. I've got a lot of the videos you can get to from there, a lot of information that uh, helps you take care of your PC, make your computing life better. Thanks for watching.